Yeah, so we're rolling now. Cool. Right, thanks for giving us a little bit of time. No worries. I know you're going to be training, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll just make a quick one. Yeah. First of all, we just want to know a little bit about you. It's yeah, obviously, yeah. Uh, you signed to Frank Warren. Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your, your background, how you got into boxing, what you Yeah, yeah, basically, my, um said it in many interviews before, my uncle, he was a boxer. Yeah. And he was very successful. He had a very successful amateur career. But he turned pro, but for some reason he didn't end up having his debut. So to be fair, in my eyes, I've took over from there. Do you know what I mean? Carrying on, carrying on what's always been in our blood. So yeah, from there, and I had um, over 100 amateur bouts, box for England. So I had a good, good amateur pedigree. And yeah, as soon as I turned 18, I thought it was just time, time to go over. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. So it's quite an easy. Obviously, you had the family's backing, so um, yeah. there was fully support and you're yeah, turning yeah. professional and what have you. Um, did was was. Um, were they influenced in, in your amateur career or did you have like your own coaches and what have you? No, I had my own coaches in because I started off at Debden Amateur Boxing Club but my dad was helping me out there as well but then I moved to Five Star mm -hmm. and from Five Star I had my second half of my amateur career just just before the seniors and then and then there was a coach there called Lenny Butcher. Yep. I trained with him for a bit and um, recently I've just joined just uh, this gym yeah, here. Yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. You both guys have come Both of us have come over here, yeah. It's just we felt we needed a change. Do you know what I mean? There's levels to this game, so you you got up it, you got to meet the standards, do you know what I mean? But yeah, so that, that's it now. That's where we're at now. We're seven, uh, 6 and 0 yeah. as a pro, 7th one coming up in March. So yeah, looking forward I, to I it, man. I was watching um, your fight last night with the Lithuanian guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. His, uh, face uh, yeah, no, he was tough, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, I hurt my hand after that fight. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. apart from that, it was good. It was a good performance. I had one after that. Same Brentwood yeah. against um, Jordan Granham, another tough opposition. But yeah, we're just getting through it, doing what we got to do, get the wins. Yeah, no. yeah, because you're just going back a little bit into your amateur career. Um, where did you fight um, around the world? Tell us a little I bit fought, about yeah, yeah. I fought, um, I fought obviously in England. Had, uh, I fought in Denmark. Fought in Ireland. Yeah, I won a box up out in Ireland. That was my last amateur fight, actually. I won the Monkstown Box Cup out there. And then after that, I just had a little layoff. And I was still training in that, but I didn't know what I was going to do because I, I was a bit confused at the time. Because I didn't want to carry on my amateur career because I had enough of that. But yeah, so then I turned pro, like I said. Yeah, so Ireland, all over, all over Europe, basically. Yeah. Is there anyone that know that's now professional? Uh, you know, obviously people know. Who's that or? now? Um, so we're just yeah, no. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't, because they're all young at the time. Do you know what I mean? Most of them are still carrying on their um, their senior careers yeah. in, the, in the amateurs. Just, uh, what, what, yeah, just say that bit. Yeah, yeah, no, um, I ain't thought. None of them, because most of them are still doing their amateur careers now, and they're progressing through the senior ranks, and yeah, so no one really. In regards to the uh, obviously transition from the amateur to the pro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was what was that like? What was the differences? Um, obviously, because in amateurs you wear head guards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how was that? Like? How was the training? Was it much different? It was a lot different, to be fair, because you got to learn to plant your feet more. It's more power-based shots. It's more. It's more strength based as well because I didn't know I was only 18, I'm still only 19, I'm still not, I'm not even a man yet, do you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah, so I'm fighting men who are coming to like just stick it on me in other words, do you know what I mean? So yeah, apart from that, it's, it's more strength based. To be fair. But I've been training up at CrossFit in Hackney where I do all my strength and conditioning training, so a massive shout out to Josh there for everything he's doing and yeah, so we're just we're getting stronger, man. So when, when you uh, uh, made your debut yeah, yeah. as a professional, yeah, yeah. talk about that. How was, yeah, yeah, how was it like the like build up? Yeah, you know, what was the emotions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you, you know, you yeah, got yeah. yeah, yeah. TV cameras. Exactly, so. man. To be fair, I thought. Because I had so many amateur fights, I was, I was relaxed going there at the venue, weighed in, I was like, yeah, it's all good. And then it hit me when I was warming up, because I thought, I put on them 10 out of the club, I thought, shit, this is, real, this is getting real now. And then I've walked out, I was still weren't nervous then, and then when I've got in the ring and I've looked around the Copper Box Arena, I'm just seeing fucking faces. It's a lovely arena. Yeah, it's massive, and I've seen faces everywhere. It was, it was a shock. It was a shock. Crowd, yeah, no, nah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I sold about three, three hundred fifty tickets yeah. for my debut. So I done well there. But yeah, I looked around. And I was like, right, oh, this, this is it. And then as soon as the bell went, that's it. It kicked off from there, man. What was the uh, what was music? Oh no, I can't. What was my debut music? I think it was. I think it was a bit of grime. But I can't remember who. Yeah, 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 yeah. but that, that helped a lot to be fair as well. Um, okay, in regards to obviously, uh, you have a lot of support. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Do you feel a lot of added pressure when you know? So you can hear them yeah, in the yeah. audience. So yeah, yeah. Does, that, does that add more pressure? To be fair, I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's added pressure, I'd say it's more support if anything. Do you know what I mean? So I'll get in there, do my thing and I know that outside the ring I've got back in as well, do you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, so I wouldn't say it's pressure because each and every one of them support me and help me in what way they can, do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, it's I wouldn't say it's pressure, no, not at all. Um, in regards to Frank Warren, which is signed to them, tell yeah, us yeah. a little bit how that came about. That came about through um, 
I came, I was training with, I was training with Lenny, and then uh, <laughs> I was training, <laughs> I'm messing about there. I was, <laughs> I was training, yeah, I was training with Lenny, and then, um, yeah, I was training with Lenny, and he threw Lenny, and I, I also started with Dom like, earlier on in my yeah. career. He knew, he knew, he knew Andy Alien. <laughs> he, yeah, he knew, <laughs> yeah, he, he knew um, Andy Alien. So I met Andy through them, and I had a massive signing where well, I signed my pro career, and everyone who came down still come to my fights now. So that's how it come about. And then I went to went to the office, had my official meeting where I got told like this is what's happening, how many fights you're gonna have, and yeah, we ain't looked back since, and that's it. I'm looking forward, forward to the future now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to talk a little bit about races with you and Harley. Harley, yeah, I met Harley through. I was training at five star when I was an amateur, and I used to see him hitting the bag. And to be fair, back then he was useless. You know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was watching hitting the bag. But who's this kid? And then, and then, and then on, on the running track one day, I started chatting to him. I got to know who he was, and he was like, oh, "I'm Nigel Ben's son." I was like, "Fuck me, you wouldn't have thought you." <laughs> nah, but now nah, he's, he's improved a hell of a lot for someone who's had no, yeah, no he's amateur. Tied off that, uh, super middleweight. Exactly, and, man. Yeah, yeah but he's he's doing it. He's doing he's doing well, man. You see him now, and he actually looks like. A, like a pro boxer now, yeah, he's doing well, but that's how Harley came about, yeah. That's how hey, just, just going back briefly, so with your amateur uh, experience, you know, over 100 fights, yeah. that's, that's massive, you know, taking it to a pro exactly. boxer, you say, like, yeah, Harley's yeah, yeah. not had that back Yeah, back. no, uh, not at all. You know, do, do, you, do you feel that that's really giving you an advantage over, say, some boxers that haven't had quite the amateur career? Yeah, it's just like working, isn't it, where you do your apprenticeship and then you actually go into real work, that's exactly what it's like, you learn, you learn, like, the A, Bs and Cs of, of boxing through, through, the amateur career, but uh, and for, through the amateurs, and yeah, like I took it into the pro ranks, and now you just got to develop on the basics. I mean, many boxers forget about the basics, but what you got to do in the pros, you strip it back down, you get stronger base. But yeah, that's why that's why I rate Harley for what he's doing, because considering he has no no amateur fights, he's doing what he's, he's doing well, isn't he? Yeah, um, going forward, what, what, what ideal weight do you want? No, I do wait to be honest, but I know I won't stay at light middle for for long. It's quite big. Exactly. For yeah, way, I won't stay at light middle for long. I'll probably move up to middle and who knows I can end up I've been told I'll finish my career at like light heavy or super yeah. middle trying to be I won't be surprised yeah right? exactly only 19 as well yeah, exactly. sort of go there so yeah the other way yeah so what do you want ideally for 2019 what would you want how many fights you know, do you to want be fair to the the same, probably the same amount of fight maybe four or five this year and then hopefully end of this year or maybe the start of next year go for some titles you know what I mean it's about time out like I said I don't want no padded record against against just beating up journeymen I mean you get journeymen who come to fight and you learn a lot that's like the ones I've been fighting your background exactly you've yeah a lot of experience exactly so they don't come easy. But yeah, I don't want to just like beat up Jeremy for the rest of my fucking career and then get all happy about it and then come against a like a stern test and you flop. So yeah, no, that's 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 what I that's what I'm at the for. same point in fairness because you're only 19. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure Frank doesn't want to rush you into the you know into, into the big boys just yet. But the yeah. same point is from your point of view, you want to kind of get get in the mix, don't you? Yeah, 100. percent That's that's what it's about at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean, many boxers now, like I said, they just want padded careers. It's more, it's more like it's more. Massaging their egos, you know what I mean? You've got to get in there, you've got to like, have these real fights and get on with it. Oh, we know you've got to train and we've got to head off to these people. Yeah, so yeah, no worries. Thanks for looking. Us Thank you very much. Come down again Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we go, do you want to shout out our sponsor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I said, I'd like to shout out my sponsor, my long time sponsor, Sabo Hotel. I'd like to. Um, a1 Bodywork as well, who's been on board since my last fight, and my two new sponsors have come on board now, Westfield Estate and, and also Hexagon Plumbing down in Ilford Lane. Just massive shout out to them for everything they do. Awesome, awesome. Alright, well cheers. listen, we're going to um, you know, make sure that um, we keep in touch. Okay, and, uh, cheers, thank yeah, you very much. You thank you very much. Nice cheers, cheers.